Howdy, howdy, everyone. Uh, this is the, the new bike. Picked her up for about three grand, which is, for what it is, it's really good. She's got uh, 47,000 miles. Granted, this is like the second to last year of this generation. Uh, this, believe it or not, is a 1980s design, and they let it run all the way to about 2000. And then I think in 2001 is when they came up with the GL1800. It's the uh, newer generation. Not the newest, but the newer one. But, as you guys can see, she's actually in really good goddamn shape. Everything works. The only thing I need to do is swap these garbage stock air forks out with uh, a heavier duty progressive spring. And just rebuild them put a little stiffer oil in it and uh we'll be doing a video on that on how to because actually you can do, do it really simple i've seen a couple other videos out there and i'm like you motherfuckers you don't even need to take the goddamn forks off the bike like you really don't like anybody who's been a honda mechanic for years worked on these things know the trick you don't have to take them out of the fucking triple trees like just use it <laughs> you'll see i'll show you a neat trick it's gonna be cool as fuck but, uh, yeah, some of the features on this thing, man, like, yeah, it's got a CB radio, uh, tape tech. I'm going to swap this thing out. They make a flat screen on, uh, I don't, it's not made for it, but they sell it on Amazon and it just drops in perfectly into this thing. Ooh. Actually, is there anything in there? See, I can, I always open it by accident and I can never figure out how to open it again. So whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's going to get swapped out. It does have a working sound system. I'll show you that here in a second. Show you some of the other three things that need to be, uh, gone over as far as if you're new to the Goldwing community. Also, uh, some of the patina on it, you know, it is a 20 something year old motorcycle. Some of the upholstery is splitting, which sucks. Um, but I'm going to use some of that leather repair shit. I've used it in the past and it seems to hold up pretty good. So. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, uh, I have ran it today, so I don't think I should need the choke, but if it doesn't start right away, you just hit the choke and it's good to go. So, here we go. And as you can see, and, and I'm on the center stand right now. One of the cool things about the gold wing lets you know the side stand's down. So check this out. I can bring the side stand up, and the light goes off. Uh, or put it back down. Boom. Good to go. Uh, so don't put it in gear with that yellow light on. It'll stall the motor immediately. Uh, let's see if it starts. Okay, so yeah, it needs a little choke. It's been sitting for a while. So um, I'm not going to go full choke because it's warm out and, you know, but it'll fire up now. There we go. Quiet, but draw response is good. And then we get back to choke off now. And there we go. Not a bad machine. Uh, the dude, one of the owners, at one point put a, a voltmeter on here, or ammeter, however you want to define it. But, uh, I mean, you know, got the radio here. Alright, I don't want to get hit with copyright, but yeah. So, that's the gold wing, folks. Garage is a mess, I know. I don't care if you fucking troll me on it, I'm well aware of it. So eat my ass. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe. We're going to be doing, we're going to open up this exhaust here. Because a bike that lopes like this and just does it so smoothly. Like, I didn't, re I forgot these older gold wings. They kind of have a lope to them. Like, they sound amazing when you pipe them. So we're going to be doing front fork video, exhaust video. All those parts are in the mail, on the way, paid for. So stay tuned, folks. Like, share, subscribe. See ya.